got to cut the millennials and Gen Z some slack because this isn't ordinary. They are moving the goalposts so quickly on the middle class because of the housing. Even that slide you just brought up, someone making $77,000 cannot qualify for a $400,000 home. That's the first time that's ever happened in the past 50 years. So they're being forced to rent. It's eating up 50% of their income. 50 plus percent say we're in a recession. 58% say the economy is getting worse. It's not. By all objective measures, it's getting better. People keep feeling worse. Why is that? I think it depends on the age because I think we're kind of living in two separate economies, if you will. Because if you're somebody who's over 60 years old, if you have a $400,000 home and you have just property taxes and homeowner insurance for 600 a month, that is significantly better than a millennial or Gen Z or spending 2,500 for rent or 3,600 for a mortgage. So I think people under 40 are really feeling the stress about the economy saying it's not good because housing's up, college is up, daycare is through the roof. But I think people over 60 who sit back and go, my 401k is looking good. My house went up 40%. The economy's doing well. Groceries are high, but we can deal. So I think it just depends on the age because the millennials and Gen Z's are the ones really struggling. Shout out to my people. Shout out to my people. Sending love positivity and good vibes to my people man i hope you guys are doing good today i'm doing great today but we all paying rent so i just wanted to go over this video about the housing market in 1980 the average home price was 47k household income was 22k 50 years later average home price is 420k and household income is 77k so that means it's going to take you now six years instead of those two years that same house is three times more three times that's crazy and i do agree with what he was saying you know i do think it's a cutoff people that are over 60 they're a little bit more comfortable but people my age and younger i feel like we're all itching our heads looking at each other like man how this gonna work because this is crazy and what else is crazy is when i was growing up you know i think that buying and owning a big house was almost a part of success i feel like i would rather be outside the house i would rather be in a better environment or a better location being cooped up in a house really taught me that i mean don't get me wrong I would way rather have a big house than a tiny, tiny house if it was in the same area. But I would way rather have a smaller house in a nicer state or nicer area, you know what I mean? So I could be wrong, but basically being in a recession, we went through COVID where we was cooped up in a house for a year plus. I feel like those dreams have died down. I used to watch MTV Cribs. Cribs back in the day, me growing up, now I can kind of appreciate and see like how Red Man was living, how he was just like, he was who he was. His doorbell didn't even work. This is how I'm living. I'm thugging, I'm happy. It is what it is. That's basically how I'm not, I ain't trying to live janky. I still want to live nice, but that's basically like my perspective. I'd rather have a smaller house, you know, like grandma's house when we all sleeping in the living room. Like my family, I want us to interact with each other. I want us to be in the same rooms with each other. Yeah, everybody still need their own space, but I don't want a big house where every, somebody living on the other side of the house. It's still cool, nice to have, but that dream has kind of really just died for me. But let me know how you guys feel. You guys feel like he's right. Do you feel that anxiety? You know what I'm saying? You feel that pressure? That's the reason why I feel like it's important for us to have our presidents younger. I made this video on my other page, but it's basically like, why do we have 60 year old plus speaking on our country in the future? Now, don't get me wrong. I get the country, but the future we need somebody that's around like 40, 45, 50, somebody that still can reach Gen Z and the millennials. So I love you guys. It's positivity, good vibes. Let me know how you guys feel in the comments. Peace. We out.